My name is Devin Williams and this is my photography channel. Let's talk about Aperture. Let's do this. Also, before we start, just a quick disclaimer. If you're a professional photographer, you understand how to get off auto. Um, please understand that I'm about to break stuff down in the simplest way. So when I explain aperture, I know there's two other parts to it with ISO and shutter speed that brings it all together. But I'm just going to keep it simple, one thing at a time, and keep it quick. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. Let's do this. So what is aperture? The basic, simplest definition of what aperture is, is the opening in the lens that determines how much light is allowed in the camera or how much light is not allowed in the camera, period. That's the simplest way to put it. Another way to put it is how much light do you want, how much light do you not want. That's pretty much it. If you look at the lens, think of the lens as an eye and the hole in the center of the lens is a pupil. You adjust it depending how much light you want in and how much light you don't want in. Simple as that. Also, the bigger the hole is within the lens or the bigger the pupil, the more light comes in. The smaller the hole or the smaller the pupil, the less light that comes in. And that's pretty much what aperture is. So again, aperture is pretty much determines how much light do you want in the camera or how much light you don't want by adjusting the aperture. So now that we know what aperture is, now we need to learn what some other ways you're gonna see and hear aperture. And another way of seeing aperture, it would be f-stop. So you're either gonna see aperture, you're gonna see f-stops, or you're gonna see f in a number. Um, the numbers usually go around 1.42, 2.8, 4, 5.6, 8, 11, 16. That's just simple way. Some can go higher, some can go lower. It just depends on the equipment that you have. So you need to know your equipment. One way to find out if you don't look on the display, usually you see an F and you see a number. Or on your lens, sometimes you won't see an F, you just see the number. So if you take a look at a lens like I am now with my Nikon Z6, I have a 50 mm lens and it's a 1.8. The 1.8 is the f-stop, the f-stop is the aperture. So again, to keep it short and simple and sweet, aperture is f-stop, f-stop is aperture. Plain and simple, that's all it is. So now that we understand what aperture is and also understand what f-stop is, now we need to understand that actually how do we use it to make better pictures and better adjustments to get off of auto. Okay, so I'm gonna break this into three parts. The reason we're bringing three parts is sometimes it can be kind of confusing and sometimes a lot of information at one time. So like I said, I'm here to make my video as simple as possible so you can understand it. So when you go into a room where you can execute it or when you need to make adjustments in your photo shoots, you can remember these simple lessons and tricks to adjust to make your pictures better. So first thing I want to show, tell you is a low aperture has a big f-stop number. Okay. So low aperture has a big f-stop number. So for example, a low aperture could be an f11, for example. A larger aperture has a smaller f-stop number. So for example, a larger aperture could be f2. So it's just the opposite. So when you say a, so a low aperture is a bigger number, a larger aperture is a smaller number. It's just the opposite. That's part one. Part two is when you have a lower aperture, which is a bigger f-stop number, equals less light in the camera, which equals a darker photo. A larger aperture, which is, could be a smaller f number, equals more light in the camera, which equals a brighter photo. So again, just to reiterate, lower aperture, less light in the camera, darker photo. Larger aperture, more light in the camera, brighter photo. Part three, a lower aperture, which is a big f-stop number, equals more depth of field, which equals a sharper background. A larger aperture, which is a smaller f number, equals less depth of field, which equals a blurrier background. So again, lower aperture equals more depth of field, equals sharper background. 
larger aperture equals less depth of field, which equals blurry background. So those are the three parts you need to remember. Again, to reiterate, a lower aperture is a big f-stop number, which equals less light in the camera, which gives you a darker photo and gives you a sharper background. A large aperture is a small f number, which equals more light in the camera, a brighter photo, and a blurry background. Now just to reiterate, this is a simple way about aperture. There's two other parts that helps with the exposure triangle, which is ISO and shutter speed. But aperture, you need to understand what aperture can do, so you know when and when not to adjust certain things. So again, this is just a simple way of putting it to understand exactly what aperture can do, and that is aperture. So that's aperture. Pretty much simple and straight. It just determines how much light do you want in the camera or how much you don't. Simple and straight for it. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, hit the bell. Please comment below saying you liked it. Also, if you have anything that you want me to break down for talk through wise, please put that in the comment. But until next time, I just want to say thank you. This is Devin Williams Photography. This is my channel. Um, until next time, see you.